Welcome to the podcast with Face, Pat, and Tiz. Alright, first topic of this week, Greg. So, just sit back thinking, looking at the dynamic of things change on the wider scope of just different families and different shit on the internet. This conversation. Who is the head of the household in this new generation and new poems we have in 2022? Is it still the so-called man or is it all about who makes the most money? And following that, is it about the money or the substance and the structure that makes the leader of the household? Hmm. All right. Open this for it Open for I, 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 I know who I think it is. All right. So I got two lines of thinking here, but they're gonna coalesce and make sense if you if you hear what I'm saying. All right. So the the broader answer for me is the man is the head of the household. Because to me, in my worldview. Men are, should be, and are still the kings of and have dominion over the world. I don't mean that in a oppressive sense. I mean that in a leadership sense, as in a, I am leading with the best interest of the things and people around me at hand, if that makes sense. Like mm-hmm. truly not like dictatorship, but like leadership, right? So to me, the man is still the head of the household. If he is a man, because I define man very, it's very specific characteristics. You have to be a protector, a provider. You have to be a police. You have to also be a psychotherapist. If you can fit all four of those roles for your house effectively, then you are fit to lead your house regardless of economic status in the house. Because the head of the household isn't a financial burden. It's a leadership burden. It's a, I am willing to make, live with, ride or die on, and correct the decisions that need to be made in order to make this house run in its most efficient manner for the parties that are involved. So that means not making it run well for me, but making it run well for your child, your children, your wife. If you have your elderly people, you got auntie or grandma living with you or mom, dudes living with you, then them too. Like you are making the best sound decisions for the household. And when those failures arise, you take the responsibility and accountability to correct those decisions. You are also taking the full brunt of fight, like making sure those decisions happen. You may not be the financier, but you are like the executive producer of the career. You the person running the show, even if you might have 13 other associate producers that's putting in their little bread or got this going on, or you're the one making that. Hey, y'all get together because I see that y'all gonna work together. Hey, you, your brother and your sister, since your sister got the got a license, y'all two ride here because that's gonna make the most sense to make sure mama can still get to work in this car and I can get over here for the you know what I'm saying? So it's like you conducting the show regardless of finances or what the resources are brought because in a family or a household, the resources are all pooled. If you got roommates, effectively what you are saying is you and that other person are pooling your resource to make sure that regardless of what happens, your bills get paid so that you keep all utilities on so that you can both live a normal, survivable lifestyle. Your rent gets paid or your mortgage is paid so that you can both have a continuous house hit like roof over your head and you are both going to make sure that food is in the house so that you don't you both don't starve that's a collective decision so even in that like no matter what the household is you're making a collective decision you just basically the executor or the facilitator of those pooled resources to make sure that the decisions made with those resources are the best to either grow those resources or make the household in its most efficient place so I would say the man. But then here's the second part. It's whoever is most effective at that role. Because 
what you don't want is a fucked up head of house. So it's just like a president. You don't want a president that don't know what the fuck they doing. You mm-hmm. don't want Trump. <clears throat> you don't want that. You don't want so you don't want a bush. A deer in headlights ass motherfucker that's making decisions. They making decisions quick, but they they have no intellectual or logical sound reasoning behind them. There's no logistical basis behind the next move. It's just, oh, okay. You see what I'm saying? So, like, if the man is not the best person, then it should be the woman. If the man mm-hmm. and the woman are not the best people, it may need to be the teenager. Because you have situations where the man and the woman in the household that everything is in their name, they're both crackheads. And the mm-hmm. 16-year-old daughter or son is the one that's actually paying the bills on time, making sure the kids are at school on time, making sure the mother and father are even eating, and making sure that they get their medical care and all that. So, like, I think it's the person that's best deemed able to do all of those roles, but it should be the man. Because to me, the man should be like, there's a reason that you have a king or queen, queen mother. It's a reason that all of these positions have been kind of replicated throughout time, just with different names, emperor, empress. Like you have these different sections and different categories of leadership because there are people in society that are best able to lead. That's just what it is. There's somebody better than me at business, logistics, right, reasoning, rationale, and that person should be leading society, not me. Because although I could do it, it would not be the best for everybody. It would not be the most efficient. And at the, at the end of the day, for society to improve and progress, we want the most efficient leadership in all sectors because that's what's going to actually push us. That's why we have, that's why all systems fuck up in America. We don't have effective leadership in it. Capitalism in itself isn't bad. Socialism in itself isn't bad. Religion in itself isn't bad. Um, sp- racial politics isn't in itself bad. It's the leadership. Education system isn't in itself bad. The reason all these things are failed systems is because the leadership of it is fucked up. You got good leadership in anything. You straight. And I and I digress and I stop. I apologize for rambling, but that was a good damn topic. That and you pretty much Unless killed the did. actual answer. <clears throat> oh, um, I mean, he basically killed the the, the damn answer. Um, uh, I'll just reiterate after him. Also, I would like to put in since he said that we do need new li- leadership out there. Padawan for president, twenty twenty four. Write me in. Write me in. No, nigga, no. <laughs> and I don't say that because I don't agree with some of your politics I say that because I truly believe that there is somebody who's out there better than all three of us better than any of our listeners that like there's that one that's like you are the person that's supposed to do this and I feel like anybody that gets in the way of that for glory or something is wrong like a Kanye is wrong, not because he wants to run for president, but because he doesn't want to run for president because he truly believes he's the best option. He wants to run for president because he wants to shame other people. You know. He wants to get clout for it. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, to me, like to do anything in leadership, you have to be like, if you have a pure heart, you can do it. That's all you need yep. to be a good leader. You have a pure heart and you have the skills to go with it. And that's like a one in a million thing. That's that's a reason that you have hierarchies. It's a reason that society be kind of organizes itself into like apex things. In the natural world, there's apex predators because when shit comes down to just bare basics, some things are just better than the other things. And it's not a bad thing. I think we look at better and worse as like these, oh, no. No, if you run a race and you have 10 people, somebody will be the 10th person. That's just numbers. It's not bad. Just means that you weren't as good as those 10 people, but you may be better than the other million people that tried to run it to make it to that heat. You see what I'm saying? So like there's going to be a natural selection in the world. So like if you got that, then let's keep getting the apex to the front. And I think what's fucked us up, we keep getting these 
we, we're we're not getting the apex. We're getting the <laughs> the bottom of the gene pool to run our <laughs> our country and our world, and that's scary because they you can't have Kim Jong Un running nothing or Kim Jong Il running nothing. They not that smart, y'all. I don't mean no harm. You can't have a Putin running shit. They're conniving, yes. So they're intellectually based around like being sneaky, but they're good at that. But they're not good at like real, like everyday intellect. And that's the, the, the yeah. I, I'm, I'm done. I'm sorry, y'all. I made y'all turn off the camera and shit. My bad, Pasqua. You- you, you, you. I do this to you all the time. Hey, <laughs> they asking What's questions good? and stuff. Who was that? <laughs> that Lily? What? Yeah. What's up, my nigga? <laughs> Needed the key and stuff, pretty much. Hey man, but tell her we popping the fuck out now. She she part of the family now. She had an interview on him. Man, she might well come on say what's up. Shit, don't be rude. God damn it, we know. My you well. No, nah, she got she uh, run damn right. she got run run and make some moves pretty much. But, hell it up, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah pretty, it you pretty much killed that. Like everything that you said about um basically who's the head of the household traditionally and everything, I all I would say there is just like you said, there is times where there's exceptions to the rule. Where um evolution got to kick in and somebody that's outside of who is normally the uh the head of household has to just take on that role pretty much because of situational situational and environmental situations pretty much oh come on pat keep talking because guess what you just preached right there because watch how this tie in (laughs) boom (laughs) somebody got to do it right the shit may be fluid in a household. So it may Mm -hmm. be two years where it's the man. And then for two years, it may have to be the woman because she's evolved to a place where now she has more knowledge on how to handle the bills. And then Mm -hmm. in five more years, it may be the man again for another 10, 15, 20. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, it may fluctuate depending on who has the most knowledge and best resources and best situation to be able to facilitate the roles, but it's really just based on the roles that need to be done. At the end of the day, the house has to be protected. Mm-hmm. So just based around that has to be based around the person who has the best ability to do those, make those decisions. The house so, has to be provided for. So whoever has mm-hmm. the most resources or the ability to use the resources in the best way, because okay. my wife bring home the bacon, but I'm the decision maker, if that makes sense. When we decide if somebody going on a trip, if somebody going somewhere, if we about to take a plane or a train or a bus or a car, I'm the one make. you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it depends on who's the... Just the ultimate decision maker. Like, like every time I make a decision, we good. So let me rock. But if you making the decisions and you good and I'm fucking up, then you rock. Please rock. Because now I, I'm... A detriment, like it's just whoever the asset is. You know what I mean? It, it's all guns yeah. and butt. True, true. Because uh, you know, I uh, you while you were talking, you answered the question I was about to ask. Anyway, is it a, is it uh, depending? Because you know you have different roles and different um, let's say duties within the home, pretty much. So. You pretty much answered it by saying whoever can cover the most of those duties or who can cover it the best. So, because I was going to actually ask, the dude is the everyday shit. Everybody do that. Like me, Mm -hmm. my my wife are all responsible for making sure the clothes get clean, making sure the dishes get washed, making sure like shit like that. What I mean by leadership is like the decision making. When it's time to figure out, hey, there's something, a a bill needs to get paid or added to the rotation. Like, say, hey, we want to add in this new thing. We want to do this new thing. 
who's the person that decides finally like hey yes we going or no nah, this don't make sense so this is why we not going we can go here and this that time the person that does that that's the head of the household it should be the man but I leave room for outliers because, again, you might have two crackheads that are the parents and the kid may have to run it. You may have the woman that is better equipped to do that job. And if the man does it, the house is going to be in ruin. So he needs to let her run it. You see what I'm saying? Like, I think leadership doesn't mean role. You're reversal. able to do it. Yeah. Like, like if the king gets sick, he relinquishes power to the hand or to the queen or to the, the regent or whoever is the nakes in line in succession until he is better so that whoever's making the decision is making the sound decision, not somebody who in the middle of a feverish drink. You feel me? So, like, at the end of the day, like, leadership is a fluid position. When you're talking about the head of the household, it should be the man because that should be the most stable person in the house to, like, be that consistently. So, like, even though it may be fluid, like – when I look at my me and my wife relationship, right, we've been together 16 years total, eight years married, right? In that relationship, there's been three years where my wife was the head of the household because she was best able to and best in the position as far as knowledge. 13 of them years, though, I've been. So at the end of the day, I've been the most consistent, but that comes with being able to be. When I wasn't able to be, I was smart enough to know, hey, I'm going to relinquish the leadership, even though she still would come to me to make sure that her decision was going to be cool. You see what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it's 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 like a teamwork thing. Like, it's like the quarterback mm -hmm. can still on the last play, but he going to check on to see if the, what the receiver saw. Hey, running back, what you see? So everybody involved in the play is just the quarterback, the one that actually pulled the trigger. So when you talk about head of household, I think it's also – a title that is much like a monarch. Like, it's like, yeah, I'm making the decision, but I still need to have that round table with the council to make sure that the decision I'm making is going to be best for all parties. Otherwise I make a unilateral decision and then that's where you get dictatorship. Now I'm just operating off of what I just think. And that can be dangerous. Yo, yo you, these past conversations or whatever, I'm going to bring it up later, probably later on in my segment or whatever, but I, I want I really want to put y'all up on that Rupert Modoc documentary because the things we're talking about, secession, um, roles, who's going to take over, air, who's who chooses the air and everything, and basically... Uh, being an alpha male in the business world and stuff like that or whatever. Yeah, that I, I just, if y'all can get HBO Max, y'all need to watch that. That shit's, it, it, it's crazy. The conversations I bring to y'all, these are conversations that the power structure have. And I know that they have them, which is why I want to have them. Because I feel like the more that our people start to have these conversations, the better able we are able to, one, break down the power structure, but to also figure out the things that they do that work that we can now use to help our power structure, if that makes sense. True. So see, before I go... To break yeah, something, you got to understand that shit. Like, when, when, even in the Bible, watch this, watch this. Oh, come on, God. I hear you. I hear you. Watch this shit. I'm preaching tonight. Come on. Come on, bourbon. Bourbon is working. And I'm not even a bourbon drinker. I'm a tequila man, but goddamn bourbon. All right. So watch this. I use honey bourbon backwards. Joshua in the Bible had to know that acoustics make vibration. And enough vibration will shake a foundation to the point where the mortar will crack and the bricks Bars. will fall apart. Otherwise, he wouldn't have known to break the jaws, blow the horn, stomp around, yell at the same time. That's to make the most sound waves at the same time as possible in order to hit that motherfucking wall and start to crack the mortar. Because back then the mortar was a lot weaker because they were using more primitive tools. So like, like, but what you got to think, if I don't know that, mm -hmm. I can't break down that power. So like, I think us having these conversations is vital because you get... Like, we should be challenging perspectives. Like, and even when I say stuff... <clears throat> 
I love it when one of y'all come in with something that's completely different or like, hey, nah, that's because it, it it continues our thinking. And I think that's what we miss it. Like to be what you asked about face to start this conversation, the head of the household, you have to be the best critical thinker in your house. Because that's what life is all about. It's all about making decisions, understanding the consequences and the repercussions of that decision that will reverberate far past that initial move. 